Ashley Weston. I'm a celebrity menswear stylist. So today I am joined by my fiance, Dorian. Hello, hello. So the last video we did together, um, it was, we talked about seven great conversation starters and we got pretty much an overwhelming response from you guys out there to do a video about how to get out of a conversation. It's so hard. <laughs> you, <laughs> you struggle with this. There is an art to ending a conversation because the goal is to end it gracefully and you don't want to leave them with a kind of a bothered feeling. I believe it's called a bad taste in your mouth. Yes, number one on the list. So this is actually, I don't know why I can never think to do this, but it actually really works. It's so great. And that is when you're having a conversation with, uh, with that person and then you're like, hey, so it was really great meeting you or it was really great chatting with you. Done, instant conversation ender and it's on a pleasant note, right? Yeah, it, it definitely, like if you can fill a lull in the conversation and you get into like the, so, and you can see the person kind of looking around, it's like, okay, time to get out. The, as I say with a good joke too, go out on a high note. So you just say, hey, so it was really nice to meet you. Um, hopefully we run into each other again or if you need to connect after that. But I also use this one as the nuclear option when someone is just talking to you and it's just like blah, 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 and you literally can't get a word in edgewise. Then I literally just like, hey, so it was really nice to meet you. Have a great rest of your day. And then I just bail. Because at that point, it's just, it's not gonna go well and then you're just gonna keep getting stuck in that conversation. So I'll definitely thrust that one out there too. And there is no, I've never had a, a talker continue after that point. Yeah. Cause it's just like, boom, like I'm done. <laughs> so this is gonna work in every situation yeah. and will gracefully get you out of that conversation when or, you're done. Or it's a blunt instrument. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this next point kind of just builds off of the first uh, conversation ender that we talked about. So it's when you just say, oh, hey, you know what? I'm gonna go say hi to the host. It was really great to meet you or it was really great catching up. Yeah, I think the, the number one um, point can always be added to the end of all the other points yes. after this because it's just a nice way to end a conversation. But you gotta kind of find that, that point to be like, hey, there's my exit point. And yeah. so, hey, so I'm gonna go say hello to the host. I've been, I just saw them walk in or I just saw them. I haven't seen them this whole party or whatever. Yeah. So it's great to meet you. Take care and then done, you're out. So it's an yeah. excuse to get out of the conversation as opposed to just like, hey, so it was super nice to meet you where it's like an indicator, like <laughs> this is clearly over regardless of what you're gonna say next. So it's a good one. The next conversation ender is, I think it can be a little tough to do for myself anyways, um, but it's when you say, oh, so have you met so-and-so and you grab a person, like grab a friend. <laughs> so I, I, if I'm trying to mess with someone a little bit, not the person I'm having a conversation with, like maybe I just wanna get out of that conversation and I see a buddy of mine walking by, <laughs> and I know they can handle themselves in a conversation, I'll be like, oh my gosh, have you met so-and-so? And I'll literally grab my buddy and just drag him in and he's like, and then I'll introduce them. And then I'll be like, okay, so uh, I'm gonna go grab a drink or hit the bathroom. And then I just leave my buddy to kind of <laughs> flounder. And then I, I get a kick out of literally just standing around and like watching them like try and figure each other out, like why they're introduced. That's so weird. Bit of a dick move. <laughs> <laughs> Bit well, of a... not, I mean, it can you be. to your friend, but not necessarily to the person you're yeah. talking with. If you see someone that's relevant to the conversation or something like that, or someone Someone that you can tell is kind of just wandering around and they're looking for a place it's yeah. always a very nice thing so it can be a nice thing too to grab someone in and introduce them to the conversation and the person you're talking to and then it gives you an opportunity to kind of bow out as well yeah no I totally agree with that because I know a lot of times I'll be in a conversation with someone and then they'll be like okay well I'm gonna go um, it was great talking with you and then I'm there by myself and I'm like Shit, I don't have anyone else to talk to so it's nice actually when that person that you're talking to introduces you to another person to kind of continue uh, the flow and and, and all of that good stuff. So the first, <laughs> so the fourth way of ending a conversation is by saying, "Hey, so I'm gonna go grab a drink, or I'm gonna go grab some food." But it was really great chatting with you. Yeah. So I like that one a lot. It's yeah. uh, it's a very easy exit. You can also throw in, I, "Excuse me, I've got to use a restroom." And then anytime I've ever done that, or anyone else has ever done that, you basically won't circle back with that person. Be like, "Okay, I'm done." So, anyways, <laughs> unless you're super excited to get chatting with them again, but yeah, it's a great, it's a great, like, non-offensive way to exit a conversation, and um, it works. Before we get into the last and final conversation ender, I actually have a question for you. So I've definitely been in a situation where it's a seated dinner and I don't, maybe I don't know everyone around me and there's the person next to me that is just chatting my ear off. But I also want to be able to talk to the other people around me. Mm. 
how do you get out of that kind of conversation? Because they're literally right there and just talking to you. So I always like, I was just um, two weeks ago at a dinner party and this happened to me and I was trying to think of ways to get out of it. Cause I'm like, dude, I wanna, I wanna meet other people too. It's a tough one. When you're in like a cap, when you have like a captive audience where you literally can't move, there's two ways to go about that one. You can use kind of this, the, the earlier point, which is, hey, excuse me for a second. And when you're at a table, you don't need to say, I need to use a restroom. You just say, excuse me for a second. Then you go and it's kind of implied that you're going to use a restroom. And at least it gives you a reprieve and then they can kind of reset. And then they'll probably look for other people around them to talk to. So you literally pull yourself out of the conversation. Then you walk back in and then I would start talking to the other people around me. Or if that's not possible for whatever reason, then you say, hey, in the conversation you're having, you're kind of stuck in with this person. You're like, hey, have you talked to so-and-so across the table? And like, no, I haven't. Well, let's let's see what, I, it sounds like they're saying something interesting. Let's hear what, let's get in this one. And then they'll usually come along with you. So those are the two ways that I use when I'm at a dinner party and I'm kind of, you're literally like stuck next to that yeah. person. So let's get into the last and final point. You gotta be careful about when you use this, but it's, you know, you're talking to the person and then a phantom vibration of the phone <laughs> happens and you're like, Oh, you know, I gotta get this. Um, it was really great chatting with you. <laughs> and then you excuse yourself and leave. I've never done that. It might be harder for women because yeah. you have a purse. Yeah. But if you had your phone in your hand or something like that, I always have my phone on vibrate. So no one's gonna hear the buzzing anyways. So I've definitely done it before. Yeah. It's a bit of a risky one, but you know, I, I've definitely been like, oh, and I'll do the motion <laughs> and I'll pull out my phone and look at it and be like, I'm really sorry, I have to take care of something real quick, but it was nice meeting you. See how you can always combo it at the end and it's yeah. not like a bad thing, um, but I've definitely done that one. Normally I'll just go with the nuclear option, which is very nice meeting you. Um, yeah. But if I really am feeling bad about it or something, <laughs> then I'll take my phone out and feign that something important has come up. And it's a, it's a, it, it works, I'll be honest with you. Yeah. These are five conversation enders that actually do work to see how to get into conversations. I'll link that video in the description below. Dorian, thank you so much for being on today's show. Glad to help. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And if there is a conversation ender that you use that you think works amazing, leave it in the comment section below. I always like to get new ideas because I definitely have, uh, it's, I have some difficulty getting out of conversations. All right, anyways, have a great day. Bye.